Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. So I am out of my quarantine. I got out yesterday, I did test to release and got a negative result. So I'm out of my quarantine. I still need to do a day eight test, but I'll do that fine. Um, and I have come to obviously the first place I wanted to go when I got out of quarantine and that is HomeSense. I'm here. I've missed it. It has been a while. I'm very excited to go in and see what they've got. Um, I am going to show you guys around and show you like the stock and stuff. I know last time I did this video, someone's watching me, last time I did this video everyone was like you were too fast but the thing is is like there was so much stuff to show you that if I didn't speed it up then it literally would have been like a two hour long video so i'm going to try and show you like less stuff but more of the good stuff if that makes sense so i'm not too fast and then also i need to pop to being q and i also need to go to a tile shop because we are getting our bathrooms done uh not next week the week after so uh i need to go look at some tiles and i also need to go and look at a basin and yeah just bits and bobs like that so it's a bit of a homey one to begin with today and yeah let's just get into it ignore all of the stuff behind me this is all cardboard that needs to go to the skip but the skip the dump the tip i don't know what people call it i think i should i think it's the dump or the recycling center is probably the best word for it uh so yeah let's go to home sense my tracksuit i have on today is from lamaro uh, and then i have my balenciaga mini city bag and let's go excited very very excited where's my mask oh no where's my mask oh lord had it a minute ago oh my goodness me oh we're all good we are all good okay we are in and this is really cute i would definitely change the knobs to like gold ones but i think that's so nice a little pan around of the store Oh my goodness me, this desk chair is so nice. I love the wooden legs and the brass. <gasps> oh my god, I think I want it. It's so nice. 129. Oh my god, I can't fit it in the car though, I don't think, because of all the cardboard. Maybe I can come back and get it. Also, I am obsessed with this like cane unit it's so nice 129 and it's like really kind of vintagey looking i love that like a little bookshelf to put some books in and like candles and stuff just obsessed with this but love that this like teddy borg chair is so nice it's 249 i'd love it if it was like in a cream color but it's really cool there's so many sofas and stuff, like if you need a quick sofa, this is your place to go. And this is like a Ottoman puff with storage. That is great. Oh my God, these are so cool. This is giving me like Beverly Hills Hotel vibes, 159. I feel like if you had like a beauty salon and you had like a gold and green and pink theme, that's very specific, but I feel like that would look really cool so many rugs oh that's nice that's like one of those kind of moroccan style i actually really like that that's really nice i feel really conscious of vlogging and talking because there's loads of staff around and there's like barely anyone else around so i feel like everyone's staring at me <laughs> okay these bedside tables are nice they're like cream drawers with the gold detail 69.99 each not bad there's a little pair there as well and they're nice as well actually the wooden ones for a more like kind of scandy look nice this is the lamp i have in my office i actually bought it about two years ago but they've obviously got more stock of it 49.99 it's kind of vintage feel i really like it a little desk lamp loads more lamps here home sense is always my go-to place to look for mirrors they've got such a good selection there i am um, but yeah, really, really good selection and they're often quite inexpensive as well because mirrors can be really expensive. More mirrors around here. Oh, I like this one. I'm like a magpie, like anything gold, I'm like, give it to me. <laughs> but that's really nice, I like the shape of it. It's only 29.99, you can't really see it very well. But, hang on, let me try and show you it better, I'm going to pull it out. There we go. 
That is so nice. Sorry, I didn't mean to like squat then. <laughs> I feel like this could be nice for the bathroom that we're doing. Maybe. Really nice, I'm gonna think about that one. I've also just got like a plain gold round one there as well, which I know is super popular. This is actually one of my favorite parts of HomeSense because I love gift wrap and bags and cards and stuff. And I actually do need to get some gift wrap today, but I just love their cards. They do such nice ones, like quite different ones. I don't know if I can try and find some like nice ones. Like, I don't know, they're just often quite different and like just really nice, like, you know? I don't know, I love a good card. No, they're just really sweet. <laughs> what else can we find? That's a nice one. Also, such cute wrapping paper. I like that. Flamingos. They do great ones at Christmas as well. It's like my favorite place to come for wrapping paper at Christmas. Oh, that's quite nice. Look at these gift bags as well. I don't know if it's just me that's obsessed with gift wrap, but so nice, look. Love these. That one's really, really nice as well. Such a nice selection. I love looking at all the photo frames. These would be so good for the Instax minis. That would look so cute with some of them in there. Love that. And they always do such like different photo frames, like, look at that one. I just really, really like them. Most of the ones around my house are from here. Do you know what, there's not loads of stock in today, actually. And then here we are at the candle section. I actually love these outdoor ones. I think they're so, so nice. They're really nice. And then, oh my God, so many. I don't even know where to begin. They have a few little outdoor bits here. I feel like that'd be so much nicer if it wasn't bright blue. I actually really like it for the garden, but yeah, I'm not digging the bright blue, but got a couple benches. There's not loads of stuff to be fair, because I reckon a lot of outdoor stuff is like sold out. But it's a few little bits. Loads of pots and all of that here. And then we have all the fake flowers. So nice. Crockery is literally my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I love like all the really nicely decorated bowls and plates and everything. These are really, really nice. How nice is that? Love it. Yeah, I've got a bit of an obsession. I love them. They're so nice. Obsessed, these are so nice too. Got some more nice desk chairs here because I feel like desk chairs are so hard to find. This one is 99.99, it's really nice. And there's a few other like colorful ones and stuff around here. I do really, really like you know, these chairs, I think they're so nice. And then the sale as well, yeah, 73. They're really nice. Loads of the crusade bits got like dishes and juices and all sorts of stuff butter thingy loads of bits there oh it's even got the little heart ones that would make such a nice gift it's only 6.99 how cute is that i love that oh they also have it in the light pink and the white so they don't have like just all the dark colors I might actually pick this one up in the white. Look at that, RRP. £49. £16.99. I love it. I feel like I always pick up tea towels when I come to Home Sense, but they always have like a nice selection, like nice kind of, I don't know, ones you don't mind having out on display in your house. Do you know what I mean? Just, I don't know, just pretty ones. This table is really nice with the wood top and then the marble bottom. $69.99. I like that. <coughs> oh my god, if Raffi was smaller, I would 100% buy this little teepee. <gasps> How cute is that? It's only $39.99. Imagine a little dog in there. That'd 
That is so cute, or a cat. I love all these storage boxes. They're just so nice. It's great to put like electricals or paperwork or whatever in and like make it look nice and neat. This is so nice. I don't know what I'd use it for, but I like it. Of course, I'm going to pick some of these up. Absolute essential. Okay, so that wasn't as successful as I hoped for my first trip in a little while. Just going to... Oh, so nice. So, I also think that my videoing in there was just shocking because <laughs> I was so embarrassed to speak loud. I don't know why. Like, I haven't vlogged at, like in public in ages and the store was really, really quiet. There was, like, no one in there, so I felt like everyone could just hear me talking and, I don't know, I just felt really embarrassed. So, <laughs> anyway, I'll show you what I got, but it's barely anything. I got some uh, wrapping paper just because it's my friend's birthday tomorrow. So, this just says happy birthday. I thought it was quite nice. I've got this wrapping paper as well, just, like, a pretty flowery one and then it is my nephew's birthday so um well i've got two nephews it's their birthday and then also my friend's son so i figured this would sort um all of them out so i got that stuff and then i got some hangers which you guys saw me pick up but i've literally just got in the car and realized that three are broken uh and i could go back in and kind of try and get some discount off but it'd be like 70p i think because they do 10 percent. so i think i'm just gonna leave it uh and then i also picked this up because i thought it would be really nice to do pims in this so it's like a little glass jug with a stirrer from lsa and that was 16.99 it used to be 50 uh, and yeah, I just thought because obviously it's summer and well when the weather gets better We want to do like garden parties and stuff and I just thought that would be really nice I didn't end up picking up the Le Creuset dish because I do have like quite a lot of um, Casserole dishes and stuff and I wasn't sure if I really needed any in that size. So I've left it for now mm. And then hopefully when I come back they will still be there now I'm just gonna head to the tile shop to have a little look around and then also the bathroom shop so yeah fun 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 you guys can join me but yeah sorry that was a little bit a little bit rubbish uh there wasn't a massive selection in there so hopefully next time i go it will be better but yeah let's go look at some tiles <laughs> Those are sale ones. I love these kind of tiles and they look so so cool but I feel like they're more of like a holiday kind of tile. I don't know. Let's see what else they've got. Love this. That's really nice. This is a really nice unit. I don't like the black sink but I like the wooden unit. I think that looks really nice. These are a cool shape. I like the hexagon vibes. So now I'm just heading home and then we're gonna go out for some dinner tonight with um, some family. And yeah, I probably won't vlog tonight just cause I just wanna like chill out and just eat nice food and not be stressing about the vlog. Um, but I will probably pick you guys up again tomorrow, I reckon. So I've actually just got home and I am quickly going to wrap some presents because it is my friend's birthday this weekend my friend's son's birthday this weekend and Sam's mum's birthday. So I'm gonna wrap some prezzies with the wrapping paper that I got and I love a wrapping time lapse. So I thought, why not do a wrapping time lapse? And I can show you what I got my friend as well because, oh, <laughs> I feel like you might be interested in that. Am I in that shop? There we go. Okay, so first up I bought her some of this tan. This is effin tan, I believe. Hang on, is that gonna focus? There we go. Yeah, it's called Effin Tan, and basically she is like a cereal. Oh, <laughs> she is, oh, hello. Yeah, she is like a cereal fake tanner, and she's basically, she's one of my bridesmaids, and she is basically on a mission to find a really good fake tan for the wedding day. <laughs> so she's tried so many tans. So yeah, I saw loads of people talking about this brand of tan, so I thought I'd pick it up for her, because yeah, loads of people were like raving about it. Welcome to the most needy doggy ever. Uh, yeah, loads of people were raving about it, so I picked her up a tan and a mitt so i got her that and then and then i picked her up some crocs because we all need 
have Crocs in our life. So I picked her up some Crocs. <laughs> so that's that. And then I also picked her up some Lululemon leggings because she is just about to have a baby and I thought these would be so perfect for after the baby because they're so, so soft and comfy and they just feel really, really nice. So yeah, I got them for her as well because I have been telling her she needs to try these leggings for so long. I'm just so obsessed with them. So yeah, I picked them up for her. I also really randomly brought her this back from Spain. It's like a salt seller. She's really, really obsessed with salt. <laughs> this is gonna seem really weird, but you know when you have those like inside joke presents with your friends. So I bought her some of that as well. And then lastly, I got her this. So I got a photo frame from Not On The High Street and I popped in, actually, maybe she wouldn't want me to show that picture. Yeah, maybe not, because it's like one of her and her baby. But I just popped in a photo of her in there. So that's that. So I'm gonna get on to wrapping these now. And then for my friend's son, I bought this little outfit from Zara, which is so, so cute. It's like this little tie-dye jumper. I love it. I want this in my size. But yeah, this like tie-dye jumper. And then I brought these trousers to match with it because I thought that would be a really cute little outfit. Look. <laughs> and then I also bought him a teepee, which is downstairs, which I'm probably not gonna wrap up because it's really, really big, but yeah. <laughs> How are you doing so i think i last spoke to you about three days ago it is wednesday today and i am just on my way to something quite exciting so i thought i would bring you guys with so i haven't really been doing a lot the last few days just like working and like boring stuff that i didn't really think you guys would want to see um been watching love island obviously um, and yeah i also got my hair done so i'll insert a little clip of that here um, but yeah, I got my hair done, so I'm back to blonde. It's so weird, I didn't realise like how much I needed it doing until I had it done, and then I was like, oh wow, um, I really need that doing. So yeah, back to the real kind of blonde highlights, and my extensions are all fresh and everything. I always get asked so many questions about my extensions, so I thought I'll put it in here, and then hopefully if anyone's wondering, they'll watch this, um, or I can like direct people to this video. So I have Beauty Works Nano Rings in the shade Barley Blonde, uh, and my hairdresser is it's Emily Rose Monk. I will leave her details down below as well. But yeah, they're like these little tiny weeny rings. I don't know if you can see them there. Oh, I'm also just parked up on the side of the road. But yeah, they're just like that. Um, but yeah, I love them. I've had them probably about eight months now and I'm so, so happy with them. I just feel like it really helps with like just the thickness of my hair, especially around the front and the stuff and the, and the stuff around the front and stuff. Uh, so I I have, I normally have one pack, but I actually just added in half a pack at the back as well. Just because I find with the extensions, they hold a curl really, really well, but my natural hair doesn't so much. And so, because I didn't originally have any at the back of my head, it was making like the front of my hair all nice and curly, but the back would drop out really quickly. So it looked like I'd just forgotten to like curl the back. So yeah, long story short, I decided to add in an extra half a pack at the back and I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, it doesn't feel like overly heavier or anything like that. But I'm currently parked up on the side of the road because I really wanted to vlog and I'm a little bit early so I thought I'll just pull over, park up, chat to you and then I will get on my way. But um, I am off to see a dress designer this morning. This morning? No, definitely afternoon. It's 3.45 this afternoon. 
so yeah i'm off to see a dress designer in a little place in cheshire called nutsford which is like this really really cute uh kind of village town place really lovely really reminds me of like i don't know it's really kind of old-fashioned like the high street and stuff anyway go and see a dress designer there because you guys might know that i do have my wedding dress like that's all sorted but i am on the hunt for an evening dress so my wedding dress Oh, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> so basically I've decided that I will want to change dresses in the evening um, just to have like a whole different look and yeah just to be more comfortable and everything like that and like dance easily and stuff. So I've been chatting to a dress designer for a little while now. Her name is Emma Beaumont and um, she said like you know why don't you just come in we'll have a little chat um you can try on some dresses and stuff and we can see if maybe we can sort of create something for you so yeah that is where i'm heading now so it's super super exciting uh i don't know like what's going to come of the meeting today it's not like you know something that i'm definitely going to do or maybe she'll be like actually this isn't what i can do or whatever but it's just just going to go to it and see what happens try on some dresses have a little chat with her tell her what i'm kind of looking for and then yeah kind of go from there really so i'm just about to pick up one of my friends who's uh, my bridesmaid one of my bridesmaids so and then we are going to go and yeah do the appointment and i'm going to try and vlog as much as i can i find like the wedding dress vlogging thing hard because most of the time i'm in a wedding dress and because I don't know what dress I'm going to go for. I don't want to show you in case I, do you know what I mean? In case I like go for that one and it ruins the surprise and all of that stuff. So I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can and also as much as Emma will let me. I don't know, haven't asked her yet if I can. So I'll ask her when I get there, obviously. Um, because I don't know if like some of her designs are like, you know, under wraps or whatever. But yeah, really excited because I haven't been to like a like dress designer i went to a lot of like bridal shops and tried on like ready-made gowns but haven't been to an <clears throat> actual designer and i follow emma on instagram and it's so interesting to see like the dress come to life and i mean what she does is like so talented like i honestly would love to be that talented it's incredible so yeah i'm super excited we're just gonna see what happens today like i said it might not sort of come to anything but it might i might you know be able to have something designed by her um we'll see so yeah i am gonna get off the side of the road now it's a beautiful day today actually and it's really quite hot uh so gonna get off the side of the road and i'm gonna get going and like i said i will try and vlog as much as i possibly can just finished up at Emma Beaumont and we are at Piccolino's in Nutsford which is so nice a little terrace up here with Shauna this is her debut right, on the on the vlog <laughs> um but yeah it was really really good I'll probably fill you in properly later on Hello guys, hello from Raffi as well, <laughs> hey Raff, do you want to come join? Come on then, come on. There we go, he has joined us, there we go, I'm going to move over slightly so that you can see him, there we go. 
Um, so I'm so sorry that I didn't get a chance to talk to you properly yesterday. We went on a walk as you guys saw and then literally we got home with like two minutes to go till Love Island and after Love Island I was just so tired and I just thought, do you know what? Oh, I just pulled some hair out. I was like, do you know what? I'll just chat to you properly tomorrow. Uh, spoiler alert for Love uh, blah, 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 blah. Spoiler alert for Love Island. If you haven't watched it, just skip forward like 30 seconds. Oh my God, they are being savage this year. Like I can't believe they just dumped Shannon like so quickly. Yeah, very, very savage. I feel like that was like, a little bit unfair. Um, and I like Shannon, so, but anyway. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to just have something to watch on TV again. Like I feel like we've missed Love Island. I know it's trash TV and you know, there's lots of issues with it, but oh, it's just like nice, like easy watching, like to just chill out with. But anyway, I have just done my makeup and I've used Iconic London's new product. So this is their Radiance Booster. So I am working with them over on Instagram. Oh, stop, look at it. Oh, I love them so much. Um, I'm working with them over on Instagram, but not on YouTube, but I've just done my makeup and I am so happy with how it looks. Like I am the first one to admit that I'm not very good at makeup. And whenever I get asked to like do my everyday makeup or, you know, makeup routines and stuff, I'm always like, oh my God, but I'm so crap. Um, but I honestly just feel like the finish of this is so, so good. Like you can still see my skin underneath, which I like. It's obviously still nice and natural, but you have like this really nice glow from it. So yeah, I'm very, very chuffed with this. But anyway, talking about what we're actually here to talk about. So I went to have a meeting with Emma Beaumont yesterday uh, in her Nutsford uh, gallery, studio, whatever you want to call it. And oh my God, it was so, so great. Emma is like the loveliest, loveliest person ever. And we had a really, really good chat and we're like chucking ideas around and everything. So Emma is going to, uh, after what I said at the meeting with her, she's gonna go away and do a design for me. Uh, and uh, then we're gonna have like a little chat and a chat about like costs and a chat about kind of everything really, what I want, um, what she feels like she can make, the timings, everything like that. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to um, work something out and I'll be able to have a dress designed by her, which is super, super exciting. I don't wanna say anything like on this vlog in, in the sense that like nothing's been confirmed yet. Like we literally just met for a chat yesterday. So, you know, it might not happen, um, but it might. And I really wanted to include this part of the vlog because I really wanted to like just mention Emma for any other sort of brides to be out there that are looking into designing their own dress and stuff. So yeah, I'll leave all of her details down below, of course. So as I said, it was just kind of a chat, like nothing's been confirmed or anything like that yet, but I would absolutely love to have a dress designed by her because she is just, I mean, the pure talent. I can't even imagine what it must take to design and create a wedding dress. I just think it's absolutely like phenomenal. So it was so interesting to go there yesterday and see like the process and chat to her and everything like that. So yeah, um, I, don't, I don't wanna talk about it too much in the vlog because you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited to get the design back from Emma and hopefully go from there. So anyway, it is now 10 to four and I'm off to go get my nails done. I've been doing work and stuff this morning. So this morning I got up, took Raph for a walk, I did a PT session and then I've just been doing loads of boring emails and admin and stuff. I was trying to work outside, but you know, when you just can't see your laptop screen for the sun. And I really want to create, I've seen like on, I think it's on Twitter and stuff, seen like um, people make like laptop screen kind of, protectors from the sun from like shoe boxes and stuff. So I really need to make one of them because it's such a nice day outside that I really want to sit outside and do work. So anyway, yeah, I've done a little work this morning. So I am off to go get my nails done in about 20 minutes. So I really want to do some nail art because I always go quite boring with my nails. So at the moment I just have this like light pink shade on. This is the shade Miley um, by Biosculpture. But the girl that does my nails is insane at nail art. Like she's so, so talented. So I've been having a little look online and I was like, oh, maybe I could like, you know, get some nail art done. So I had a look and I found this one on Pinterest that I really like. So I'm gonna show you, hang on, I'm gonna close the blind because the light reflection's gonna be bad. Oh, the reflection's bad again, there we go. Okay, so there we go. This is what I'm liking, which yeah, I'm pretty sure she can do, but I just don't know. Am I trying to be a little bit too cool? Like, I don't know if I can pull that off. I don't know, I do really like it though. So anyway, I'm gonna bring you along to my nail appointment. And yeah, that's about it really. I think me and Sam might head out for some dinner tonight because it's such a nice day. Does anyone else feel like their productivity levels in the sun is just rubbish because they just wanna go out and enjoy themselves? 
yeah that's me but anyway right i'm gonna go and yeah i'll bring you along with me i'm gonna say bye raf oh he's too cute he's really hot today so he's just sleeping all the time aren't you oh yeah look at those cuddles hey gorgeous boy how you doing <laughs> I did it <laughs> i decided to go for the nail art in the end i just thought why not push the boat out a little bit i always go so boring on my nails so i thought it'd be fun to switch it up i'm gonna try and focus it on my hands but i've gone for this like swirly kind of white and pink design i'm actually loving it i feel like it doesn't look like my nails and i look down because i'm so used to seeing me with like very kind of simple simple nails but i really like <laughs> so uh, yeah i did get some clips i think but my camera battery died like just when she was doing the cool stuff but i think i managed to get some clips so now sam and i are gonna head out for some dinner because it's a really really nice evening so we thought why not <laughs> so we are out in altrincham and we're at sugo just waiting for our pasta are you filming? yep it's um, got a little bit cold now, annoyingly. Yeah, it's gone a little bit cold now, which is annoying, but oh well. Looking forward to my pasta. So our food has arrived. This is my absolute favourite here. It's the strozza pretti. Can you not? Sam, I haven't even taken a bite yet. Sam got the house oh, sugo, nice, which is Sam. like beef. What is it? Beef shin. Right, beef shin. Okay. So I was just editing this vlog and I realised that I hadn't said bye to you guys and finished it off so I thought I would come on quickly now and say goodbye and say I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!